Hello, I'm Peter Davidson. My new collection, Arctic Elegies, is published by Carcanet in November 2022. I'm speaking from Campion Hall in Oxford, which is where I work as Senior Research Fellow in Renaissance and Baroque Studies. For many years, I lived and worked in the north of Scotland, where a number of poems in this collection were written. I published three sorts of books, academic books about the literature and culture of the early modern period, usually focused on discoveries, writing by minorities, exceptions to rules. Surprisingly often, something encountered in the course of this research forms the point of departure for a verse. When I was in Aberdeen, I was scholar curator of the university collections, including one of the largest collections of Jacobite material in the world, prints of King James III and Queen Clementina, a secretive alternative reality persisting most in those parts of upland Britain which I know best, Lancashire and Aberdeenshire, out of which world of lament and defeat came the synthesis of imagery, which I call simply Jacobite song. The falcon flown far in the starving air, so many lost this long half secret war, the regiments like snow all overborne, the boat rode far from the cold shore, long gone. O oh, blackbird taken in the fowler's snare, he is now far who will return no more. The burn is frozen and the bird is flown, the rose is withered and the tower is down. Snow, falcon, blackbird, water, rose and tower, faded, flown, taken, frozen, all the oh. second sort of book I write is literary non-fiction about the idea of North, about twilight, and most recently about lighted windows in the dark. Combinations of cultural history, writing about place and season, and some snatches of autobiography. When I was working on my book about the North, I kept coming across accounts of the failure of the early 19th century Franklin expedition to the Canadian Arctic. This naval expedition from which not one man returned alive has haunted me ever since. So much so that when a young composer asked me for a text for an oratorio, I wrote Arctic Elegy about the Franklin expedition. Towards the end of it, there is a lyric for the wife of one of the lost officers, an imagined Victorian landscape of loss and mourning, partly a homage to early Geoffrey Hill, partly an acknowledgement of Geoffrey Hill's lifelong offstage kindness to me. Sad England mourns in fog and fallen leaves. November twilight drowns bare avenues. And all my life is evening not since you are gone. Rain in the dark, my long desolation. O oh, weeping England is a house of ghosts. Voices at nightfall, whispers amongst dry leaves, shadows of young men lost amongst rocks and snows. This is in this collection have been written in many places. Hill paths in Scotland, various rooms here in Campion Hall, walking on the towpath by the river. A good number of them have been started in the university gym at Oxford and written down when I got home. In many ways, my current Oxford life is a picking up of threads. Many friends from my student days are near at hand. I'm cycling rather than driving. I have returned to editing early modern poetry as I did at the beginning of my career. I am even, in a modest way, playing fives and still enjoying it. One of the real surprises to me of this collection is that I have been able at last to finish some verses which I began as a doctoral student in 1986. A folder of typescripts of these verses turned up in the upheaval of removal 
and somehow the time has proved propitious to finishing a couple of them whose unfinished or imperfect state has nagged at me in the intervening decades. It's quite strange to find the assonance you've been looking for since the 1980s and doing so have a flashback to the snug attic room in Cambridge where the verse was abandoned and wonder what took quite so long. But to finish with, I'd like to read a verse that's very much of these years at Campion Hall, written for one of our visiting fellows, an Australian composer called Christopher Wilcock. So here is Father Wilcock's Evening Hymn. Unfold your kingdoms in the western sky, your transient citadels of ash and rose. Disclose no more your chain of mercies which has shaped our day. Enfold us in the shadow of your hours, within your counterpoints of fading light. Compose our night, all vast and far in consonance of stars, that I with all below may raise my heart, more fortunate than I may hope or know, if so, I may, in your great consort, bear but the lowest part. <laughs>